morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is you're watching this video. Thank you so much for clicking on my channel. My name is Emmy, and um, I do YouTube videos from time to time, mostly makeup related. Um, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on this eye look. Um, I also posted a different video earlier this week, or maybe I'm going to do this in reverse, I don't know yet, um, on my face makeup stuff. Anyway, so this is very specifically just on this eye look. So if you like what you're seeing and you want to see how I did it and what palette I used and all that stuff, then keep on watching and it'll be coming up right now. Right in, starting with Coastline as my transition shade. I'm gonna go ahead and just plop that on the outside corner and then in circular motions, start blending it into my crease. So just going in circular motion and then windshield wiper motions. Just tap, 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 and then windshield across. And basically I'm going to do this until I feel like it is diffused enough where it's giving me a really nice base transition. Now picking up Monte Carlo, um, on a smaller, tapered, more pointed brush. I'm gonna use that as my second transition shade. So I'm tapping it on the outside corner and then brushing the color toward the center of my lid. And then I'm actually gonna put it literally almost in the same spot as my first transition shade in windshield wiper motions, but just ever so slightly below it. That is why I'm using more of a pointed brush, so that way I can be a little bit more precise and less diffused. Picking up just a little bit more product on the brush, I'm gonna go ahead and do it all over again just because I want it to get a little bit more intense, but I don't want it to become the primary color may seem weird but it is really important to stop and check each step as you go because it's going to make the blending process so much easier so just make sure you're stopping between every color every transition and just checking things out now we're going to move on to the lid with a packing brush and we're going to go ahead and take the color bahamas which is the brightest pink color in the Riviera palette and I forgot to show you guys that color so I'm sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and pack it onto my lid and I want this color to be all over my lid from the outer corner almost to the inner corner. So basically I'm going to pick it up quite a few times and I'm just going to keep packing it on, blending, packing and blending just over and over again until it's as intense as I would like it. Picking up a blending brush again, I'm gonna go ahead and use Coastline, and I'm going to diffuse the outside corner and also that transition area once again. Just because I don't want any harsh lines, I want it to look seamless between the pink and the transition. And just to intensify it a little bit more, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Monte Carlo and also add that again to the transition. Now, after all the diffusing, I feel like I need to pack on more of that Bahamas shade. So going back in with the same packing brush and just packing more on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a small packing slash blending brush and with the color Inheritance, which is a gold yellow, I'm gonna put that in the inner corner and I'm trying to decide if I wanna put it further in. Yep, I'll put it further in. That works. I think I like where it is, so now let's just add some eyeliner. Gonna go ahead and do a liquid wing today. Why not? Wing liner is always tricky. I really like this one is it stays wet enough where I can kind of mess with it and adjust it as I need to. So yes, that is helpful. Now going in with cans, on a pencil brush. I'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom lash line and just kind of do that as intense as I want it. So it did take quite a few times of dipping and going back and dipping and going back just because I really, really did want that purple to pop. 
now using my favorite eyeliner. I'm going to tight line the inside part of my eye. Well, I guess that's what tight lining is. So on top and on bottom. That is it folks. Just added some lashes to really make this look pop. You can't really do a look like this without lashes. Let's be honest. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much. All right guys, this is the final look. What do you think? But I think it came out pretty good. Um, colorful looks are always a little scary because, well, you know, they're just, I don't know. To me, they're scary because I don't do them very often, ever, ever. So I don't do them often, but I do have some palettes that are really fun to work with to do that kind of thing occasionally. This palette is the Riviera palette. I should have said that at the beginning. I probably did say that at the beginning. So this Riviera palette is really, really good. The colors are so pigmented and I had forgotten because I very, I set it up like on a display case because it's such a cute package and I kind of forgot about it after I used it once or twice when I got it and I forgot how good it really is when it comes to the colors in this palette. So it was really, really fun to work with and to do this, to create this for you guys today. I really hope that you enjoyed it. By the way, I put up my I Cut My Hair video a few weeks ago and I just, I, I got lazy. I didn't really take you guys to the very end of the haircut. I did at the moment, but remember, I said that as time goes on, I keep cutting and adjusting. I don't do it all at once because it's really easy to go overboard and there's no fixing it. So this is kind of the final, final look of it. So I added some layers to the back. I did some stuff. Anyway, um, that's a tangent, but if you haven't seen that video or if you have and you're like, that doesn't look that much that different, then here you go. This is the final look a few weeks after the fact of the first video. Um, all right guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Stay safe out there, stay quarantined. I know it's easy to get anxious, but remember we're not on lockdown. You can still take walks, you can still ride your bike. Just stay away from people. That's all, just stay away. That's all, that's all you gotta do. Just keep your distance. That's it, but you know, go out and smell the roses. I don't know. All right, guys, thank you so much. Um, remember to spread love, not hate. Mwah. Bye.